now welcome back to my channel today's topic is the immune system every day we encounter a large number of bacteria virus fungi and other parasites but we don't fall ill every other day because our body has developed a super complex system called the immune system with guards soldiers intelligence weapons factory and communicators to protect us from all these invasions this system is called the immune system the immune system is a complex and fascinating system of our body. The immune system consists of cells, tissues, organs and other molecules. The immune system has 12 different jobs, some of which are kill enemies, fight, fight worms, make strategic decisions, produce antibodies, remember enemies and also cause inflammation, etc. Now, what are the components of your immune system? If you consider your immune system as a police force, the bone marrow would be its police academy where different kinds of blood cells are produced. These are the platelets, red blood cells and the white blood cells. Next, the white blood cells. They are continuously scanning every organ in your body to make sure there are no suspicious signs or pathogens, something like pathogens. And then comes the thymus. The thymus is an organ in front of your heart. The thymus is the place where the T cells get matured. It, where the T cells get matured. Then comes the spleen. The spleen is located at the left of your abdomen. 25% of the blood that the heart pumps flows through the spleen. The spleen filters the blood and then um, and then looks for any pathogens. If in case a pathogen is detected, the immune system gets activated. They neutralize the pathogen. Then the lymph nodes come. Again imagine your immune system to be a police force. Then the lymph nodes would be its police station. If any pathogen or an, if any pathogen is in your body, the nearest lymph node would get a would get chemical signals. Then the antigens, the um, the immune cells, the cells would expand. This is why you notice your uh, you notice the swollen glands near your neck when I, when you are ill sometimes. All I have just told these are the components of the immune system, the bone marrow, um, the white blood cells, the thymus, the spleen and the lymph nodes. So if you want to first understand how the immune cells fight during a battle, you have to first understand their family tree. The immune cells are developed in the bone marrow. It starts from the hematopoietic stem cell. The hematopoietic stem cell has the potential of making new blood cells. The hematopoietic stem cell is in two categories, the myeloid stem cell and the lymphoid stem cell. The myeloid stem cell is referred to the bone marrow and the lymphoid stem cell is referred to the lymph system. Let's take a look at the myeloid system. The myeloid system is responsible for making a few blood cells called the platelets, red blood cells and the white blood cells. Let's take a, let's zoom in to the white blood cells. The white blood cells fall into four categories. The neutrophils, basophils, eosinophils and the monocytes. The neutrophils, basophils and eosinophils help a lot during a battle. But the monocytes are the most important because they flow with the bloodstream. When the blood takes them to a tissue, they transform into ma macrophages. Macrophages are very important during a battle because they can alone divide up to 100 intruders each. This process is called the phagocytosis. The macrophages are 21 micrometers long. Some of the monocytes can turn into dendritic cells. The dendritic cells are called the brain of the immune system. They make crucial decisions. The dendritic cell was the first ever discovered immune cell in history. So, all I have told so far is part of the innate immunity. The innate immunity is a non-specific immunity that you get by birth for that you inherited from your parents. Next, let's look into the lymphoid stem cell. The lymphoid stem cell is referred to the lymph system and the lymphoid stem cell um, di diverts into four, three categories. First, the T cells, B cells and the natural killer cells. 
the B cells. The B stands for bone marrow because the B cells they develop in the bone marrow and get matured there. The B cells fall into two categories that are the memory B cells and the plasma cells. The plasma cells are the weapons factory that make antibodies during an invasion and the memory B cells uh, remember the enemy for any future invasion. Then the T cells. T stands for thymus because they get matured in the thymus. They are born in the bone marrow and migrate to the thymus and they get matured there. The T cells fall into two categories according to which type of um, receptor they have presented on their outer layer. So the two categories are the helper T cells and the killer T cells. And the killer T cells. And the next ones are the natural killer cells. The natural killer cells do not help in the battle, but the but when any cell in your body is an infected by an antigen, it um, releases chemicals telling the natural killer cell that yo hello I'm infected here and the natural killer cell uh, cell finds the infected cell and kills it with a process called apoptosis. All I have told so far is part of the um, adaptive immunity that you get eventually when you grow up like when you are growing up this immunity is a specific kind of immunity now all this I have told about the cells in the of the immune system is the whole family tree of the immune system all these fight together in a battle and help prevent you from getting sick thank you in the next video you will find that how the immune cells fight together and prevent you from getting ill during a bacterial infection. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. That's it. Thank you.